In the area of science and gigantic mysteries, the subject of what existed prior to the gigantic explosion has blended conversations and intrigued thinkers for quite a while. This huge question doesn't just test how we decipher the universe, it challenges the genuine furthest limits of human knowledge. Imagine standing at the edge of existence, looking into the colossal shadow, and pondering what lay there before our universe was imagined. The event of the Big Bang marked the beginning of time, space, and all that we know. Anyway, was there a second earlier, previously this? Could there have been a condition of nothingness, a calm before the cosmic gathering began? And if this is true, was it, or perhaps, was there something much more alarming that existed before time itself? As we jump deeper into this question, science takes us on a journey past the universe's beginning point into thoughts that challenge our consciousness. Physicist Brian Cox, known for his investigation into the wonders of the universe, suggests that something surprising might have existed before the enormous detonation. He urges us to reconsider our ideas of reality and existence. In this examination, we'll dissect the science, the speculation, and the dazzling mysteries that might explain what existed preceding all else. We'll explore thoughts like self-important development, quantum changes, dark energy, and even multiverses. The answers we uncover might just paralyze you, yet they could also open new understandings of our position in the universe. Get ready to dive deep into a world beyond imagination and science, where the unknown still weaves through the shadows, leaving scientists floored, and sometimes even unsettled. We ought to explore what existed before the Big Bang and why these theories challenge all that we thought we knew. To appreciate what may have existed before the Big Bang, we must first painstakingly analyze what the Big Bang truly was. The Big Bang, as scientists define it, refers to the moment when the universe became extremely hot and dense, growing rapidly to set off the development of all matter, energy, and the boundless forces. Two minutes and seven seconds. When we look toward the night sky, we see proof of this hot beginning, with galaxies spreading out this way and that from an early point of origin. But why did this happen? Furthermore, was there a time before this dense, hot start? According to the theory of cosmic inflation, there was indeed a before, and it was not even close to void or peaceful. Vast expansion suggests that before the Big Bang, the universe was in a state that was cold, vacant, and loose, essentially like an immense vacuum. Anyway, this vacuum wasn't entirely empty. It contained a gigantic amount of energy that fueled the quick expansion of space itself. This expansion, called inflation, happened so rapidly that it essentially laid the foundation for all that would follow, a portion of space expanding at unfathomable rates, until the expansion slowed and the energy transformed into matter, particles, and the forces we now associate with the Big Bang. Each emerging from a different region of this cosmic landscape, shaped by unique vibrations, forces, and dimensional frameworks. In this perspective, the birth of our universe, what we call the Big Bang, might have simply been the result of our region of the landscape settling into a stable configuration, allowing for the formation of matter, energy, and time as we perceive them. This interpretation challenges the very notion of a singular origin. Instead of asking what caused the universe, we must ask, why this universe? Why these laws and constants? Perhaps our universe is one habitable pocket in an infinite ocean of uninhabitable realities, most of which would not support stars, galaxies, or life. This concept aligns with the anthropic principle, which suggests that we observe the universe this way simply because it's the kind of universe in which observers like us can exist. Still, deeper questions persist. If there are countless other universes, what connects them? Could they interact? Or are they forever sealed off from one another by the sheer scale of their separation and the nature of their birth? One possibility lies in the concept of quantum tunneling, a process in which regions of space can transition between energy states through probabilistic leaps, rather than classical cause and effect. Some physicists believe that entire universes could tunnel into existence from a prior quantum vacuum, a primordial state teetering on the edge of being. In this scenario, the Big Bang wasn't an explosion but a quantum transition, a spontaneous emergence of a new universe from the fabric of pure potential. And yet, with all these ideas, we arrive at a philosophical impasse. Can we ever truly know what came before, if even time itself may have emerged with the Big Bang? Without time, there is no before in the traditional sense, only a state of being that defies our concepts of past and present. As scientists continue to probe deeper, through experiments with particle colliders, studies of cosmic microwave background radiation, 
and the hunt for primordial gravitational waves, we inch closer to understanding the tapestry that may lie beneath the surface of our universe. We stand at the threshold of the known and the unknowable, peering into a cosmic abyss that whispers of beginnings beyond beginning, and of a reality more immense, more interconnected, and more mysterious than we ever imagined. To pierce the veil of these deepest mysteries, humanity turns to the most powerful instruments it has ever built, space-borne telescopes, quantum computers, and gravitational wave observatories. These are not mere tools of science, they are keys, prying open the door to epochs long before galaxies swirled into being. The James Webb Space Telescope, already peering into the faintest, oldest light in the universe, seeks the imprints of the first stars and galaxies, clues frozen in radiation that has been traveling for over 13 billion years. But even this magnificent eye in the sky can only take us so far. To truly glimpse the moment of creation, or what lies beyond it, we must listen not to light, but to ripples in space-time itself. Enter the next generation of gravitational wave observatories, like the planned LISA, Laser Interferometer Space Antenna, which will orbit the Sun and search for the faint tremors of colliding black holes, ancient cosmic strings, and perhaps even echoes from the birth of the universe. If these instruments detect primordial gravitational waves, subtle quivers from the earliest moments of space-time, they could serve as a fingerprint of cosmic inflation or even hint at the fabric of a multiverse in motion. Meanwhile, in subterranean laboratories and quantum research centers, physicists harness the power of entanglement and superposition, building machines that can simulate universes under different physical laws. These quantum computers might one day recreate the conditions of the early cosmos, not just as models, but as experiences, allowing scientists to test theories beyond the reach of any telescope. But with every discovery comes a deeper paradox. As we illuminate one layer of the mystery, another recedes into shadow. The closer we get to the origin, the more we realize that perhaps the cosmos isn't just a place, but a question. An open-ended riddle whose answer may not lie in equations or experiments alone, but in our capacity to imagine realities unlike anything we've ever known. And so the journey continues, not only outward into the stars, but inward into the very logic of existence. For if there was no time before time, no space before space, then maybe the true beginning lies not in what happened, but in why anything happened at all. The question, why, haunts even the most advanced minds of this age. As data pours in from the farthest reaches of the observable universe and simulations churn through billions of possibilities, a new frontier begins to emerge. The convergence of physics, consciousness, and purpose. In a quiet institute nestled deep in the Andes, far from cities and satellites, a team of physicists, philosophers, and AI ethicists gather. They call themselves the Horizon Group. Their goal is not just to explain the universe, but to understand the implications of understanding itself. They begin with a startling proposal. What if the universe is not merely allowed by physical laws, but selected? What if there is a form of natural consciousness embedded within the cosmos, a kind of self-observing mechanism that causes reality to collapse not randomly, but meaningfully? As outrageous as it seems, the idea gains traction. Quantum theory has long hinted that observation changes outcome. Entangled particles behave differently when watched. Could it be, the Horizon Group wonders, that consciousness itself is not a byproduct of the universe, but a fundamental ingredient? To test this, they design an experiment unlike any before, a hybrid quantum gravitational interface, an entangled lattice suspended in a gravity-neutral chamber aboard an orbital research station. Its purpose to simulate the interaction of early universe conditions with intentional observation. And one day, deep into their trials, the results defy probability. Patterns begin to emerge in the data, patterns that cannot be explained by physics alone. Prime number sequences encoded in radiation noise, fractal-like echoes in the vacuum fluctuations, a whisper in the cosmic background, too regular, too symmetrical, to be chance. It is not proof but it is a voice, a suggestion, that something ancient and intelligent might not just have emerged from the universe, but is the universe. And if that's true, then we are more than stardust. We are questions becoming aware of themselves, embodied curiosities woven into a cosmic mind that dreams through time.